What's up, brothers and sisters? It is time for the 2015 State of the Office report. What my office looks like and what I do in it. Because I really like to see this kind of stuff. I like to see how other people work, how they lay out their gear, what kind of gear they have. Because I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. So, let's take a quick look. We'll get the outside view. Kind of looks like this. I should say, I'm in a totally new house this year. New pad, new digs, new stuff. New year. First thing you'll notice is there's a problem. The door. The door does not have spring-loaded hinges. I like spring-loaded hinges in my office door. I need to have enough force to send a small human, which I have, and a cat about five feet through the air when closing. So, I don't have that yet. That's something I'll need to fix. My first ever closet in my office, I find I put stuff in there that I would normally throw out, which means I have garbage in my office. Still have the North Face backpack. It's the North Face something, something, something. And it has been fantastic, this thing. Look at this. Can't even tell I'm hitting it right now. That's how great this thing is. Looks brand new. I've had it for years. It's like waterproofy. Not waterproof, but don't go swimming with it. But it will shed rain and stuff like that. Down here, we have a guitar amp. It is a Vox Valvetronics, which is a pretend tube amp. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. I've gone through this whole phase where I was doing all modeling and stuff and all Line 6 y until I got to the air point everyone does the Line 6 where you go, hey, that sounds like crap. So then you go out and get a regular real amp, and I'm saving my pennies for a Mesa Boogie, which if you know anything about guitar amps, you know that's a lot of pennies. Down here we just have a couple pedals. We have a BB Opto Stomp. It's, I like a little compression. It's very transparent. This is a vintage tube monster from Behringer with an actual tube in it. Distortion pedal. It's okay. And a BB Sonic Stomp pedal because I was born before 1986. There's a great view out these windows. But glare lots of glare and we don't like glare so we have these blackout curtains because what's more important the view or what's on your monitor over here we have woody the acoustic a giant ikea thing of various sundry crap the wall of guitars as usual got a new one recently this is a gnl Comanche, but it's got a Seymour Duncan Custom Custom in the bridge. Very Van Halen. Very cool tones. Good guitar. Good guitar. And then the Yamaha Pacifica and a Michael Kelly Les Paul clone and a S-Series Ibanez and then a Frankenstrat that I made out of parts. I don't really play those very much. I'm playing the GNL right now and it's super awesome. We have the floating keyboard. Don't play that very much. We have an office chair. More about that in a second. Over here. Additional crap. Over here, we have the new thing, the new awesome thing. This is my new standing desk. It's built out of IKEA parts and a base I ordered from eBay. All told is mm, getting close to 500 bucks. It's about, with about 400 and something out of that from the stand from eBay. It weighs a metric shit ton, and it has a motorized controlled thing in it, so it can go up and down. It can go up and down faster than any number of inappropriate metaphors you can think of. So, this top from Ikea is a glossy top, so you can write very important notes while you're doing code and stuff right on your desktop and wipe it off later. This is a family-friendly show, folks, so this is what I write. We've got, on this little raised shelf, we have two monitors. It's the Dell touchscreen that I never touch, and the Asus uh, something something. 1080p monitors, they're okay. They've been color adjusted with the color hug. Open source color rometer rimeter. M Audio Studio monitors I've had forever and love. My Lenny, the Lovono, which has an SSD in it and Core i5 and screens right along. And my little USB hub and my old trusty Behringer mixer and a Wacom Bamboo tablet. 
mechanical key, keyboard, wireless, trackball, mouse. That's how I roll. But here's the beauty of this standing desk. Hey, I need to send a flaming email. And when I send a flaming email, I need to sit my butt down. Are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing what's happening? I'm not doing that. That's like magic. That's like Hogwarts right there. It's going up and down just from a button to a preset height that I've saved. And now I can roll this chair over and I can send a flaming email. Down below you have your Captain Morgan stand and a pad. That is the new stuff in the home office. And a couple, couple of headphones, the PlayStation uh, fake surround one, and my Sensenheimer HD 558s, which are awesome. So that's the state of the office. At work, I am now, we moved buildings and I'm in a small cloth covered cube, which really blows, but I do have a new computer at work. It's a Surface Pro 3. It's Surface Pro 3, it's the one with the Core i5. What do I think of that? You know, if you're gonna run Microsoft stuff, it's really pretty nice. The screen is excellent. It's like more than 1080p, it's 2000 something by something. Screen's really excellent. It's uh, fast enough. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Is it worth like the 1400 bucks it costs? No. My Lenny here for less than half the price will spank its doors off but it's pretty good and the great other great thing about it is it comes like a device from work which means it's like they hand you a phone and say good luck so usually you get a laptop from work you know it's been imaged with their image and it's got all the crufty crap on it and it's probably got the wrong video driver and everything else this is straight from microsoft so that's pretty cool that means when the windows 10 update comes out I can just put it on there. I don't have to wait for anything. I say, hey, screw you guys. This thing's free. I'm putting it on there. And that's about it. That is the entire state of the Office 2015. This is all the new gear, all the new stuff. Uh, not done with what I want to do with this office, but pretty good. Oh, I guess one other thing. Got a little lamp here that changes colors. So it's got a relax setting and a reading setting. I don't know what any of that means. It just changes colors, but it's pretty cool. See you next year. Bye-bye.